The nation's two biggest drugstore chains have now jumped on the CBD bandwagon, selling CBD-infused beauty and skincare products like creams, lotions, patches, and sprays in select stores across the country. We think that this is something that customers are going to be looking for and is you know, part of the health offer. CBD is a chemical found in hemp, which, like marijuana, is part of the cannabis family. CBD is now being touted as a medical cure-all and is creating a national buzz. In 2018, sales exceeded $390 million. By 2022, they could reach $22 billion. And the million-dollar question? Does CBD work? Yes. It works for anxiety. It works for pain. It works for any inflammatory condition. No, we don't know any of that. If you go in with this expectation, with all of society saying, this is going to cure you of whatever ails you, it w often will. At Cannibalist Massage in California, customers pay 90 bucks for a massage using CBD oil. They come in for pain, inflammation, stress, anxiety, and those are the things that CBD combats. Though CBD comes from a type of cannabis plant, it does not make you high. You just feel very calm. It's like, it's like taking a big chill pill. But there's still no conclusive scientific evidence yet that CBD products actually have health benefits, largely due to the tight government restrictions on studying controlled substances. Just buyer beware, you know, wait, no, no going into it that there is no evidence for it. But if, if you're going to walk out feeling better, I'm not going to say that's a terrible thing. But again, as a scientist and as a society, let's get the real evidence. But Laura Freeman isn't waiting for proof. She grows hemp on her Kentucky farm, makes CBD chocolates, and swears CBD alleviates her chronic pain. The CBD worked and it was an absolute miracle. Seriously. Drugstores betting on CBD while we wait on the science. And Dr. John Torres joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning. Dr. How are you guys? Looking at the studio, I feel like you could get high in here. <laughs> They weren't messing around with the setup today. <laughs> exactly. A lot of jokes we can do oh, yeah. with this. But the reality is you can't get high from CBD, right? But there are some risks. So talk about it. it's not regulated. Exactly. You can't get high from it because it doesn't have THC. That's yeah. a psychoactive component. It's CBD, which is a different chemical. And the main thing is that unregulated right now across the country, the FDA doesn't look at it because it's a supplement. And so you don't really know what you're getting. And some people in the past have gotten what they thought was CBD and there's really nothing in it. Other people have gotten pure CBD. CBD, again, it's unregulated. Mm. The World Health Organization themselves says there's no public health risk associated with this, meaning it doesn't have an addictive potential. Even in its pure form? Even in its pure form. But there are some things you need to be aware of. One of them is buyer beware. Make sure you know what you're getting. Get it from a, re a reputable dealer. Yeah. The other thing is it can interfere with your medicines, especially mm. if you're taking a blood thinning medicine, warfarin or Coumadin, and that can cause bleeding issues. It's a supplement. FDA does not regulate it, so you might not know what you're getting. And on top of that, we really have no idea about dosing of CBD. And so we don't know if you're taking it for pains or anxiety, if you're taking the right dose. We it, just don't know. It's really become a part of the conversation, though, these days. Advocates and some consumers, they swear by this. But what does the science say? What do we know about its actual effectiveness? And if you talk to people, they'll say it takes care of just about anything. Here's what we know. It can take care of severe seizures. That's the FDA-regulated mm. epidiolex that they've gotten controlled. It cannot cure cancer. It cannot cure al Alzheimer's. That's the other part of the category saying, that's the part saying it does not work for those ones. But there's a huge area we just don't know about. That's the anxiety, the insomnia, the chronic pain. It looks like it might help. We're just not sure yet. So given that, should you be in close contact with your doctor if you're going to take Definitely this? tell your doctor you're taking CBD, especially because it can interfere with some of your medicines in a dangerous way. And so make sure your doctor knows you're taking it so they can say, well, you either need to cut back on it not take it, or it's okay if you take it, need to adjust your other medicines. Big thing. Worth the conversation. A lot of people are talking about CBD these they days. They are. Nice to see you. You bet. Thanks, Dr. Torres. Thank you.